Hello my friends, today we talk about 12 reasons <laughs> why you should be a pantheist. Excuse me if you don't understand my English, because I'm from Germany, my accent sounds like Nazi accent. <laughs> Pantheism does not contradict science. Yeah, you know, in the Bible a lot of wrong things, you can read a lot of wrong things. But uh, yeah, that's not, that's not the case in the pantheism. Pantheism is perhaps the only belief in God that cannot be refuted by logic and the only belief in God that does not contradict itself. Yeah, you know what I mean? It doesn't make sense that the Maria, Maria got pregnant by God without, you know, like, um, yeah, getting fucked by, by him. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, sorry, I, I don't know how to, how to say it. Uh, Pantheists need not fear hell or God's punishment. Yeah, you know, you don't, have to, you don't have to believe in pantheism in the way of, you know, like being scared. Oh no, when I'm not a pantheist, I will, I will go to hell. No, no, that's not the case, you know. Or if I don't live like that, I will go to hell. If I have sex before marriage, I will go to hell. That's wrong. That's wrong. You know, that's not, uh, I don't, I mean, what is wrong and what is right. But it's not the case in pantheism, you know. Pantheism solves all questions concerning the theodicy problem <laughs> of Christianity. Pantheists have a logical expla explanation why an almighty God and evil can exist at the same time. Pantheists never ask themselves to let God do this or that. According to pantheistic ideas, he doesn't allow, but he does everything. You know, there's in pantheism, there is no right, uh, there is no good or evil. Yeah, when uh, like when an animal gets eaten by a lion, it's not good and it's not evil. It's just nature. It's just God. You know, it's just nature, it's just a part of nature. A lion eats the deer, you know, and then the lion, uh, someday it will die. Maybe it will starve to death. That's just nature. And then insects will eat the lion, you know, and a bird will eat the insect. You know, that's just, that's just nature. In pantheism, you cannot violate God's laws. You can't. It, it doesn't work, you know. I can't fly, you know, <laughs> I'm not a bird, so I can't fly, that's just how it is. I can't, uh, I can't violate, violate the laws. In no religion are you so close to God as in pantheism. For you, you are, for you, you are yourself a part of him. You know, right now, I'm, I'm a part of nature, I'm a part of God. In no other religion, you can be so near to God. You know, right now, I'm by God and in God and a part of God, call it, call it how you want, you know. But right now, I'm, I am nature. I am a part of nature, and that's uh, a beautiful feeling. In pantheism, there is no book that can be interpreted, interpreted in different ways. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, if you ask one million, pe uh, one million question about the Bible, everyone says something different. But in pantheism, there is no different opinion because. Because there's no book, you know, there's no book that says how you need to live, you know, the book is nature Nature is the book for uh, <laughs> the, uh, From our from the panthers, so there's nothing wrong the, the, uh, <laughs> uh, For example one Muslim says one Muslim says being a Muslim means peace and the other Muslim says no being a Muslim means I have to kill Christian or something, you know what I mean? So, that's not the case in pantheism. Pantheism is really easy to understand. Nature is God and that's everything. <laughs> that's everything, you know? There's equality before God, a dog or a stone. A God as close as a man. Yeah, you are not, if you are human, you are not more worth than a, uh, a dog or something, you know? But Christian people think that uh, human people, they are like something holy. And that dog is just an animal, you know. But we are animals too. Yeah, we are. We are primates. Yeah, we 
we uh, you know there is not much difference to a to a chimpanzee you know human humans are not are really close to apes there's not much dif difference but christian people think we are something holy and uh, apes are just you know yeah some something uh, like created by god you know other religious have to invent miracles people who walk on water and horses that ride into the sky pantheists don't need to invent miracles because the holy book is nature whose infinite glory is visible to everyone is wonderful wonderful enough here yeah, you know nature is wonderful <laughs> nature is just wonderful you know the ocean the mountains yeah the woods the forests nature is beautiful the sky the the universe nature is just beautiful if you want to see god just open your eyes just open your eyes and you can see god just go to google <laughs> yeah pantheism does not call for violence in this world and does not treat them with violence punishment in the hereafter i don't know if this was a good grammar but <laughs> i hope you can understand me yeah pantheism is peace yeah pantheism means peace we are nature you know it doesn't matter if you're black or white or or yellow or wet it doesn't matter how your skin looks we're just nature we are one so there's no reason to make war there's no reason to kill each other we are one and we should live in peace but this will never happen this will never happen don't think this will happen because <laughs> because uh, yeah war is in our dna you know the humanity loves to make war so this will never happen we will never live in peace we will never live in peace and that's okay that's okay keep your peace in your heart you know live you live the inner peace pantheism is the only faith in god where you can leave your mind on yeah you know to be christian you have to be like uh, very like i don't know <laughs> uh, yeah let's say stupid because <laughs> i don't know yeah in the bible a lot of stupid you can read a lot of stupid things you have to be crazy to to believe that you know you have to crazy to believe the things that are written in the bible it's crazy you can come to pantheism on your own for example you cannot come to christianity perhaps you're pantheist and you just don't know it yet yeah you know maybe for example i was a pantheist my whole life and i didn't know i didn't know it because i didn't know this word exists yeah i mean it's just a word so many people people they know and they are conscious about it that nature is god and nature is something holy but they don't know this world so there are so many millions pantheists on this world like the the native american for example they are pantheists yeah they or they were pantheists but <laughs> they they didn't call themselves like this you know they just said nature is god or nature is holy or something you know something like that but they they didn't call themselves pantheists so if you google if you go to facebook and you search for pantheists for a group uh, you will find maybe 10000 pantheists or something but there are more more pantheists in the whole world i think everyone who likes nature is at least a little bit a pantheist yeah and now i don't want to talk every, every anymore because <laughs> yeah um i'm too relaxed my friends yeah i hope you like the video yeah please subscribe me please <laughs> bye